open on the screen is the ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2018. This is another software package that you can actually purchase outright. I think you may also be able to subscribe to it, but I'm not quite sure. But this is one that you can use, which is actually quite a good alternative if you don't want to do the Lightroom and Photoshop um, subscription deal. Um, there'll be videos on this each week, but today I'm just going to give you a rough tour of what it looks like. So that when you first open it, this is what you get. You get this window. You can um, open an image straight from here. Um, you can unclick this so it doesn't open it every time. And you know, there's a quick start guide and there's quite a few other things here. But we're just going to go close. So this is basically what you get up here. Like Lightroom, I guess, there's a whole heap of tabs so you can find your way around what is here. So um, we're in Manage right now. So Manage is basically where you can see all your folders and you can see all your photos. So if we go to one, I've just got to find my folders. Do I have favourites? Oh, yes, let's go to my desktop. My desktop's a bit messy. Um... I've got to pick a folder to choose. Let's go to 2018 photos. Um, <coughs> just go to the city. Uh, let's have a look at some of my um, Eureka Sky Deck photos. You've probably seen some of these photos before because they were shown to you. Um, in a, I, I think I did a critique of them because I also, a couple of these photos I did a live with doing a long exposure. So this is all the photos. You can see here, up here it says if it's a raw file, know, oh there you go, there's a PSD file, so that's a, a photo that's been done in Photoshop. So it um, gives you an idea. So you can't actually just click on um, in manage it just shows you small photos but as you can see there's all the folders you can get if you click on one down here in the left hand corner you get a little bit of information about the photo and if you go up here you get the default metadata so you can see you know what what lens you use what camera you used when it was taken and all of that. That's interesting. Digitized. So that's what Manage does. Um, it's a good place to start when you want to work out what photo you want to look at. So now if we go to Photos, in Photos it basically shows you every photo. That's, there's one of me and my daughter in the snow, taken quite a few years ago. Some of these photos you might recognise, but this is every photo that's on my computer and hopefully there's nothing embarrassing here. So we're not going to stay here for too long. So um, it gives you a really good idea of, um, if you, especially if you're looking for something in particular and you can't remember what folder you've put it in and you don't want to go through everything, then you can just find the date and you can work it out. So up here you can do, you can narrow it down. This is just set to all. And there are other, you know, there are always other options. Everything you ever use, there's always other options. View. So in view, we'll go back to manage actually. So to go to view, you actually have to double click on an image. So I have to find an image. Let's do this one. So I've double clicked it and it gives you a bigger view of it. You're not stuck with just this image and you don't have to go back to it. Now you can see that you've got all the images down the bottom too so you can pick another image if you want to. Okay. Quite a nice, it was a hot day that day. The sun was shining, it was very bright. Let's just do this one. So here we've got in the view mode, um, you can go.
go through and select your photos. I don't know if you can mark them. Hmm, that's interesting. So um, you can... I mean, I, I've used this software. Um, I don't know it a lot, but I will will get better at using it. And I'll make sure that as we go through things, um, I'll be teaching you. I've used it a few times, and there's quite a few. It does some pretty cool things too. So we'll, ex we'll um, have a look at all of those as well. So you can do a little bit of editing. You see down here you've got some tools and things to do. But um, generally speaking, I, it's not something that um, I would worry about. So you can see here, I'm just zooming in. So if I just go back. how the image was it's going to be a bit slow because um, I'm also running the software for recording the screen as well so now if we decide that say this is the image that we want to work on we can now go to develop and develop is going to give you a lot of options that are exactly the same as you get in Lightroom. So they just look different. Of course, they're not going to be the same because what would be the point in that, you, you know, they'd get done for copyright, etc. So um, you've got some, in the first window is general. So you can change it from color or black and white. Um, you can change the exposure and you can change quite a few things here if you want to. Let's try the dehaze. Okay. Clarity. You can um, look at the white balance if you want to. You could make it warmer, make it cooler whichever you want just put it back to zero I think or wherever it was um, then you've got the light so you can work on the shadows oh wow it's a bit weird I like this one though actually in this. I tend in this one not to do shadows, but I do the midtones. I think the midtones is a good one. So I think that works much better in this program. And then you can turn down the highlights if you want to. You just have to be careful. Um, the sliders can be really sensitive, so you have to be really careful about how far you move them. You've got tones, you've got curves, you've got there's lots and lots of options for what you can do. You can split tone, post, crop vignette, all sorts of things. Up here, you can do, um, here's your detail, so you can get rid of noise, chromatic aberrations, you know, those lines that you get around, some things, the sort of purpley pink and the blue-green lines. Um, you can either do it with a brush or you can do it, it's quite a few different ways of doing things. Let's just undo that. So um, this is where you can straighten your image and correct them. So um, this is quite a good one if you um, tend to take crooked photos. <laughs> well, actually, you don't take crooked photos. Your lens probably does. And you can also straighten them. To straighten them, you just have this slider that you can that you move around that you can work out okay I'm not I'm not interested in um, actually doing any images here we, I just want to um, show you roughly what this program does and then repair you can you've got the heel brush and a clone tool and you can also do red eye reduction if you have that problem taking photos of people and then once you have the photo and if you want to do a lot more work on it you can just go to edit 
So edit is where you can add layers. So you can see here you've got a layer image already. You've got all your adjustment layers. There's a lot more adjustment layers. You can add a file. So if you want to add files to it, you can do that here. You can add a blank layer. You can duplicate a layer and you can add a layer mask. Now I'm going to do separate videos on how to use layers or what layers are and layer masks. So um, you've got all these things down here that you can use, but you've also got a bunch of tools up across here. So it actually, I've actually found that um, nearly everything that I do in Photoshop I can actually do in this program. Some things work a bit better than others, but Generally speaking, if you really don't want to go, if you really want Photoshop but you don't want to do the whole subscription thing, I would highly recommend Photo Studio Ultimate 2018. Um, there's a way around most things. I think there was only one thing I couldn't find a way around to do, but it's um, overall it's a pretty good program. So this is just your introduction to it and um, there'll be more videos to come on how to use it. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it there um, and we'll see you for the next video. If I can turn this off. Okay.